In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to solve systems of rational equations. So here we have two rational functions, and our goal is to solve for x and y in this problem. Now, because these two expressions equal y, that means that they equal each other. So we can solve by substitution. We could set these two expressions equal to each other. Whenever you have two fractions separated by an equal sign, you can cross multiply. So here we have 3 times x, which is 3x, is equal to 1 times 28 minus x squared. So this is what we now have. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything from the right side and move it to the left side. So negative x squared, once I move it from the right side to the left side is going to become positive x squared. And positive 28, when I transfer it, it's going to be negative 28 on the left. And since there's nothing on the right, we're going to have a 0. So right now what we have is a quadratic equation. x squared plus 3x minus 28 is equal to 0. How can we factor this trinomial? In order to factor it, we need to find two numbers that multiply to the constant negative 28, but that add to the middle coefficient 3. So factors of 28 are 1 and 28, 2 and 14, and 4 and 7. Now, one of these pairs of numbers has to have a negative sign in order to multiply to negative 28. Now, 4 and negative 7 adds up to positive 3. But if we divide negative 28 by negative 4 and get positive 7, this pair works. Negative 4 times 7 is negative 28, but negative 4 plus 7 is positive 3. So to factor it, it's going to be x minus 4 times x plus 7. Now, using the zero product property, we're going to set each of these factors equal to 0. And we're going to solve for x. So for this equation, if we add 4 to both sides, we get that x is equal to 4. And for this one, if we subtract both sides by 7, we get that x is equal to negative 7. Now, what we need to do is find the corresponding y values. If we plug in 4 into this equation, we'll get that y is equal to 1 over 4. And if we plug in negative 7 into that equation, we get that y is equal to negative 1 over 7. So to write our answer as an ordered pair, it's going to be 4, comma, 1 over 4, and negative 7, comma, negative 1 over 7. So that's the solution to this system of rational equations. For those of you who want to quickly access my math and science video playlist, feel free to check out the website video-tutor.net. You'll find playlists on algebra, geometry, trig, pre-cal, calculus, general chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, statistics, and other topics as well. And you can also access my final exam review videos on this website, in addition to my test prep videos. And there's some other links that you can explore here as well. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now let's move on to our next example. So for this system, we have x minus 3 is equal to 16 over y and 21 over x plus 1 is equal to y. If you want to take a minute to solve this system, feel free to do so at this time. Now what am I going to do in this problem? So for this one, it's already equal to y. I'm going to adjust the first equation to solve for y. In order to do that, I'm going to raise both sides of the equation to the negative 1 power. So on the left, we get 1 over x minus 3. On the right, when we flip it, it's y over 16. Multiplying both sides by 16, I get that 16 over x minus 3 is equal to y. So I'm just going to rewrite that over here. So 
So now since both of these expressions equal to y, we can set them equal to each other. So y is equal to 21 over x plus 1, and it's also equal to 16 over x minus 3. Now we need to solve for x. To do that, I want to get rid of all of the fractions. So I'm going to multiply every term by x and x minus 3. 21 over x times x minus 3. x will cancel, and we'll be left with 21 times x minus 3. When I multiply 1 by what we have here, I'm just going to get x times x minus 3. 16 over x minus 3 times this, the x minus 3 factors will cancel, leaving us with just 16x. So now let's distribute. So I'm going to have 21x minus 63 and then plus x squared minus 3x equal to 16x. So this is x squared. 21x minus 3x is positive 18x, and then we have negative 63. Now I'm going to subtract both sides by 16x. So I have x squared plus 2x minus 63 is equal to 0. Now let's factor this trinomial. So we need two numbers that multiply to negative 63, but add to positive 2. So this is going to be 9 and 7, but positive 9 and negative 7. 9 times negative 7 is negative 63, but 9 plus negative 7 adds up to positive 2. So to factor it, it's going to be x plus 9 times x minus 7. Now let's set each factor equal to 0. So if we subtract both sides by 9, we get x is equal to negative 9. Over here, if we add 7 to both sides, we get that x is positive 7. Now let's calculate the corresponding y values. And you can use any one of the two equations. But it should be the same regardless of which equation you use. Let's start with this one. So I'm going to replace x with 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. 16 over 4 is 4. And to make sure our answer is correct, it should work for this one too. So it's going to be 21 over 7 plus 1. 21 over 7 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So that works. So when x is 7, y is 4. Now let's check the other answer to see if it's correct. So I'm going to replace x with negative 9. Negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12. 16 is 4 times 4. 12 is 4 times 3. If we cancel a 4, we'll end up with negative 4 over 3. Now let's try the other equation. So 21 over negative 9 plus 1. 21 is 7 times 3. Negative 9 is negative 3 times 3. We can cross that out. So we're left with negative 7 over 3 plus 1. Now the 1, I'm going to multiply it by 3 over 3. Negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4, and so it's the same. So we can write our answer as an ordered pair. The first one is going to be 7 comma 4. The second one is negative 9, negative 4 over 3. So this is the solutions to this system of rational equations. By the way, for those of you who want access to more related content, if you check the links in the description section by clicking on more, 
you'll see other videos that I have on simplifying rational expressions, adding, dividing, multiplying them, even graphing rational functions, which is somewhat similar to graphing reciprocal functions. So feel free to take a look at uh, these links when you get a chance.